Good morning everyone, it's Brett here, Lion Art 84, your exotic fruit growing enthusiast in the UK. Um, just wanted to do a short video on uh, preventative pest treatments uh, on some of my tropicals, particularly on citrus. Um, citrus plants, especially when they're growing inside a house or a greenhouse or conservatory, are extremely prone to mealy bugs and scale insects and if you don't sort of check them on a very regular basis it's very easy for them to get a hold on the plant without you noticing and then it gets much harder to treat them so what i like to do is when the with particularly with the ones that are indoors is occasionally give them a preventative spray treatment now um, i'm using an organic you probably can't see it because I'm going to focus on it. But this is an organic product I'm using here, which is for flowers, fruits and shrubs. And this will treat, let's see how to focus, you can still see it, aphids, red spider mites, white fly, scale insect, mealy bugs, caterpillars. And this particular one, if I look at the back of it, is, I just want to see what it's got in it. So it is an organic one, and I believe it's an extract from... Uh, taken yeah here we are. this has got rapeseed oil in it and it's got pyrethrum which is a an extract from chrysanthemum flowers so basically what i like to do rather than waiting for the mealy bugs and scale insects to appear about once a month if the weather's okay i just like to come out and give the plant a light spraying if it's a nice day like it is today sunday because you often can't see you often can't see the young, the, the scale insects and the mealy bugs when they first get on the plant. The young ones, after the eggs have been laid, are so small it's near impossible to see them. So what I find is it seems to make a lot of sense to come out and give these plants a good spraying about once a month. And then hopefully if there are any hidden pests, You give the stem a good, a good spray as well because the scale insects tend to be hidden. They tend to be hidden on the stems. I sprayed these well before I bought them inside at the end of October, but as we're now at the beginning of December, I haven't seen any pests on this particular one. But as these are, as this is an organic spray, and I've got time this morning, it makes sense to me to come and give it a good soak. Now hopefully that means if there are any, try and get underneath the leaves as well, but hopefully if there are any hidden pests on there, that will get rid of them before they actually become a major problem. This is my kumquat that I've sprayed here. It's not a particularly large plant, so it's relatively easy to... Uh, relatively easy to bring it out and spray it. Obviously some of the larger ones are a bit of a pain to get out but in a moment it looks pest free and I like to keep it that way because once those scale insects get get a, a grip on a plant they can be a major problem to deal with especially when they're inside and you can't spray them inside very easily so what I do is give it a good soaking with that organic spray obviously you could use neem oil or any one of a number of uh, other organic sprays you can mix at home but I prefer to just go out and buy them because it's convenient for me. I like to give them a good spray so I'll try and pick a day when it's not too cold and not too windy and I'll just leave the plant outside for a good half an hour now to sort of drip for the surplus spray to drip off and then move it back inside and it'll carry on drying out inside. Obviously you've got to pick a day when it's not too cold because you don't want to chill the plant particularly but that's my um, preventative pest treatment that I like to try and use on my citrus plants to stop those uh, scale insects and mealy bugs getting, uh, getting a grip. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, welcome to uh, click like, uh, you can share the video if you think anybody might be of any use to anybody. Welcome to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and obviously hit the bell if you want to get future notifications of any videos I post. Thanks for watching, catch up, have a lovely weekend everybody.